ladies and gentlemen, it's time for some fiddling and some dicking. Hey! I'm going to tell you, I jumped a little bit. Yeah, I tell you what. That was a high. That ladies and gentlemen, high. we have a lovely, lovely episode for you today. I'm your host, Brian. Oh, oh, we got a host? Oh, oh, oh. And to my left, your right, if you're looking at the speakers, we got Wait. Conspiracy Nick. Oh. How are you feeling today, buddy? <laughs> feeling great. Yeah. Full of conspiracies today. Oh, are you? Oh, yeah. A lot oh, yeah. of stuff going on in the world. Can't wait to hear these. Yeah. A lot Can of I stuff. Can I tell you, though, real quick with Conspiracy Nick? Love the shirt. I, I, yeah, hey, you know, I'm going to tell you, there's two tonight that have really... for success. And usually you, Brian. Yeah, tonight, Brian's Brian started. Yeah, Brian he did. started. He did. Set the trend. I refuse to get on it. Or is it... Like Vanessa Williams said, save the best for last because you had great shirts, Nick, and now Chapman has a fantastic you're gonna wait till, shirt. You're going to well. wait till we're worn out and well, then hang you're going to come for in a second. hot? You, yeah. you settle down there, Steal plain the show. gray ch- t-shirt guy. Yeah. yeah, I'll get to you in a second. We got Chapman over here, <laughs> smooth Chapman, who, who, by the way, had a rough day. I did have a rough day. I took some skin off the old knee. Oh, it really, you know, when it, when it gets scabbed up like that, it's hard to bend. Uh, and I'm usually a pretty flexible or guy. Or go in the shower. But the phone saved me. Look at this phone. It's a little, oh, it, it, looks, it looks like a teenager's so, phone. Well, well, set the table. Yeah, what, what happened? happened? Right? Yeah. yeah. I was assaulted by the sidewalk. It's the, oh, it's the city. I, lawsuit has been started. Um, but I took a little tumble jogging today. <laughs> I, was, I was recovering from a concert the night before. <laughs> Plus, I'm getting a little old. Too old to be president. That's I kind of wish sure. I saw it. Not to... Not to be well, mean. I, Please I think, tell me this was in front of people. Oh, absolutely. People and did stopped. anybody did oh, say, no, are you okay? Pulled, oh, people pulled over. They helped me up. Oh, <laughs> it was a little really? Hard. So they were actually asking you if you were okay, not just filming. Did you think they something were. was broken right away? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I, I started, I started padding around. I, I, went, soul. I went straight to the <laughs> x-ray machine. <laughs> started taking x-rays. Did you but, hit that hard? No, it was fine. It was fine. I stopped, dropped, and rolled. I rolled. I rolled. It was nice. I scraped you up guys, my back. You guys, this for the Olympics. Yeah. Hold on, you. Chapman's fine. A little blighty. Let's talk about this iPhone 2 that that saved yeah. his life well, right here. Put it out of his misery. They don't make them like they used yeah. to. You can't no. get that one replaced, buddy. No, I'll tell I already, you right now. I already ordered the screen. An iPhone. Oh, you're, you're keeping it going? Oh, absolutely. An oh. iPhone 15 uh, wouldn't have saved you. That's I'm, true. I'm going to tell they, you right they now. They don't make them like that. No, this, this thing's no. a tank. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Now you didn't do the you, you fell because I've fallen before. I fell on ice. Is that like a show like Disney on ice? Yeah, yeah, I think Ugh. so. And I fell, but I maybe it's my ego, maybe it's my mochismo. I had to hop right up really fast and yeah. pretend it didn't happen. Did you do that? No, I actually rolled right out of it. Like I, it was like a full on stunt. Like I fell down, rolled, oh. and just kept running. You should like go to the house happened. and see, see if they that. have the ring fil- footage of it. I like to. Uh, I wonder if they do. Fall, sit, and sob for a little bit and see. Well, uh, because we're not never. Because that's exactly right. You fall, you got to get back up and kind of act like I meant to do that. Well, but you know what happened though? The worst part of it is I I knew it. I my, this hand went down with the phone. I was running with the phone in my hand, so it was literally first point of contact, right? So I, once I <laughs> once I once I got up, I saw that phone still laying there, and, I, and it's that it's that horror show. It's like I wonder what this thing's gonna look like. I wonder, could it be okay? Oh. Is it okay? It I could, think, it I think you're be. at the age you need a, yeah. a, a, a fanny pack. For a the fanny phone. pack or one of those things. Yeah, the, 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 the wrist, guards, yeah. wrist guards for running. That's what I that said. Cool? You need some wrist guards. <laughs> wrist guards are good for running. Just like go that. all out. And go a knee helmet. pads, and go a helmet. helmet. <laughs> you should absolutely yeah. knee pads, a helmet, elbow pads. I think can, it's can time. Can I tell you something? If I had all those things, we wouldn't be having this conversation. You're absolutely right. Because I wouldn't tell anybody I was running in knee pads and and wrist guards. Well, on that note. So there's no way you'd be hearing about it. I think we need to introduce Don. Oh, hi. And I think you should do some research on Amazon for some pads for this guy. Yeah, I think I may. I'm going to tell you, though, going in a different direction, I just really had a taste for a Kona Big Wave tonight. Oh. Oh, is that that? I don't, I don't know what it was. Because yeah, you're not really on the beer. Is right that now. an alcoholic? If you have a taste for a beer? No, or is that it's just summer. Like, it's hot summer. It's yeah, beer okay, time. so you can have a taste for a beer. Yeah. Well, and you know what happened, too, is the reason I do is... And I know it's, it's it, maybe it's, I, I only go back to it in the summer, but I'm really listening to Hawaiian reggae right now. Oh. Yeah. What? And there is so much new shit out there. It's like a mix of R&B yeah. and reggae. And it is, that is phenomenal. Now, if I were to celebrate this that, collection, how do I, how do I, what do I type? Hawaiian reggae music. Just that. Just in Pandora. That's what that I do. It is yeah. crazy that you said that. So today I listen to this band called The Green Fucking awesome. From Hawaii. You know yes, yes. I've been Dude, listening to this shit all summer. How did I never hear of these They're guys They're phenomenal, before? aren't they? They are phenomenal. Oh. Because, like, we were just talking. We went to the stick figure show last night, 
And they're just getting a little same songs over and over and over again. Yeah, kind of burn out. Kind of burn out. Yeah, we were just talking. Yeah, you know, that's great music, great band, great scene, great whole thing. But I found this band called The Green today. Oh. Yeah, there's another. Should I stitch some of it in right now? Oh, wow. put them in. Yeah. Oh Lord. So anyway, I've been setting my Pandora to that. Typing that in right now. I'm and I'm tell putting you. in the green. I love. think though, real quick, before since we're talking about this, yeah, I think we just got to tell the listeners that um, Mike Love's new album came out. Oh yeah. yeah. We haven't talked about that at he's, all. Uh, he's kind of a fiddly staple. He is. He's a. He's, he's our guy. He's family. He is family. He's family. He is. Yeah. He is. You know. But I don't know. I don't. I. I'm going to tell you. I, I love all of Mike's stuff. But I just. I can't feel this one. This was a tough one. This was a couple. Give it a couple. Spins. Couple listens. You got to give it this a couple, couple listens. Spins. Yeah. Okay. We it, can do that. It hits. Yeah. yeah. It, hits it does. Yeah. Oh. It, but it just took me a little bit. It's not like his other albums where I was like, right off the bat. It's like an edible. Takes time. Takes really. time. Takes time. <laughs> well, listen, we got a great show coming up, guys. We got uh, Bob Lament calling in. Oh, you What's sure Bob that's do? how you say his name, or is it Lee Ment or Lemont? Lemont. He Lamont? does capitalize that M. I swear to God, oh, this is that's... another Canadian. Le, because I don't know. We've had a lot know. of honestly, we've had a lot of Canadian guests. Was the ventriloquist Canadian? Yeah, we're going to just say she was. <laughs> no, we're going to say yes, she wasn't. No, she was. Yeah, 100% wasn't. Well, I'm, I'm glad we're having him because, you know, we've been doing this podcast for 30 years. And, and this guy, <laughs> this guy's been doing it a while, too. Has he been doing it for 31? Well, we'll have to ask him. All right. All right. Um, I do have a question. Opening ceremonies of the Olympics. Does anybody watch them? I fucking loved them. <laughs> Can I say I did, but say I didn't? I didn't no. watch it. I, I did. But I, I saw the clips. I watched it. Not a big it. Celine guy. So and I'm curious. I mean, there's a lot of outrage about it. How yeah. would you choreograph the opening ceremonies? If it, you're the creative director, how would oh, you do it? So you were not going to get into what happened at the opening no, ceremonies? No, no. I mean, okay. Everybody knows yeah, everybody that. Everybody yeah. knows that. Was we terrible. Terrible. You know what? Do you terrible. notice how conspiracy We're Nick, not going to look back. That's the first yeah, thing he wanted to get into. And I told you we that was the Illuminati. Supper, I we told got the you. whole thing going on here. Come on. Conspiracy Nick. Yeah. I, I or told Nick's you. Conspiracy Corner, I should so, say. So you're, what are we, uh, Los Angeles next one? I think so. Yeah, Los Angeles and What's then in Utah, US? right? Yeah. Uh, so Los Angeles, you're, you're, you're the choreographer. Man. You what, know, you, what you doing? You know what? I am, I'm going old school. I'm bringing back that flaming fucking arrow. Oh, flaming arrow! Nineteen ninety-two, like I think shoot, it was. Shoot at the so the guy, flame? remember the guy shot with it. short shorts and a tank top. He shot it over the crowd, over it into the thing. Didn't they do that this year too? No, they didn't even have a flame. No flame this year. Uh, yeah, I saw Snoop. Snoop it was, was a running around with balloon. the damn thing. It was, it was a balloon. I thought we weren't talking balloon? about this because I'm going to get very angry. But that's I okay. I want. I, it listen, was a balloon. We got to air this stuff out. We yeah. got to get to, to the hard hitting topic. I don't can't even think the flame still go. I think they put the flame out. It's been two thousand years oh, and the flames. Well, out. you know, climate change. You can't let that shit France. burn. That's true. They, that the flames are in in, in California. That's where all the flames went. <laughs> they are, it's they? burning for Los oh Angeles. So, so for just, next year. Yeah, for they, next four years. Yeah, for the next four years. Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. not going to need Snoop for this one. Yeah. Yeah. We got it. It's Snoop. already on. It's already lit. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to roll a little uh, <laughs> little Chevy into that, right into that cauldron. <laughs> okay, so you're lighting it with a Chevy. Yeah, 100%. You're lighting it with the arrow. How are you lighting this thing? I don't know. I, this is a tough, tough this question, is, uh, honestly. You need a production meeting for this. This, you is, do. this, is, a, this is a sit down. You yeah. whiteboard some ideas. Some people say spitballing. I kind of think it should be a human pyramid. Bring back oh. the human pyramid. Isn't there a town, like, I think it's in Spain or somewhere where they, they climb up each other? Yeah, and see bring how that, they those can guys get? in. All right, I got one then. What is that? Is it, that's like an event in, like, Europe somewhere where they see how many people that's they right. can get per village. I think it's like village against village. That's kind of cool. Oh, and they get like, like I'm not kidding. They get like 12 people high. I would, I would hate to be on the bottom. Only, I'd hate to be on the 12 top. 12 people high? You're, so Standing you're, shoulder, feet on shoulder, straight up. I think up. it's like third mm. row from the top. That's the best one. 
No. He's right in the middle. Right in I'm the middle. I'm on the bottom. No, no way. You got all the Because you know those kidding? motherfuckers are falling. Yeah, your back can't handle that. You're your out of your mind. Hey, guess I, what? I'm going to have to say no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. Hey, all guess right. what? Then it's uh didn't work, guys. See yeah. you later. We'll try something else. <laughs> and Chapman the can't do it. He's got the skin knee. <laughs> so That's true. Shit you got to squat. You got to squat. The, the skin knee doesn't bend very good. Did you no, want to oh, fall 12 people high? No, I want to be right in the middle. I'm saying right in the middle is a good spot. Yeah, a lot of carnage there still. I think you go in the bottom. But I think, and listen, I'm not a physics guy, but I think there's something where the weight disperses, so the person in the middle really isn't doing anything anyway. True. Right. It goes right past I them. think that's a theory. I don't know. He, I, physics, listen, I, you know? No, I'm not I a think, physics guy. I think you've got to be the end guy. The top guy? or the, no, the, the end, end guy has way too much pressure because you have They're too much up, weight. Aren't they? You, you have too much no, weight no, no, on no. one you want, side. You know what you want to be? You want to be the guy that doesn't make it up because it, <laughs> they got so high right. and then they all fell down. And you're like, like oh, okay. I was next. Yeah. I would have yeah. done it. I would have yeah. made it all the way. The next guy. You want to be the next guy. guy. Yeah. That's true. Good all call. right. So what's, how are you lighting this thing? So here's the thing. Lighting it? Yes. It's in L.A. We're going to go old school Hollywood. We're going to get Hen- we're, we're going to get it? Henry Winkler as the Fonz. Wow. And he is going to get on the skis and oh. jump over the shark with Ooh. the thing cuz that was the jump the shark yeah. episode. Jump the shark. That was but good. you got to get Henry Winkler. I'm big Henry Winkler oh, guy. Oh yeah, he's great. No, you got to hurry Henry. though. He's getting old. You you're a quick whiteboarder guy. That was a great that was idea good. for. Quick, yeah. Now, yeah. You, so you want him to jump what if what if the Fonz just smacked the side and it lit up like the oh, jukebox. That, anyway, that, 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 that I like. Because hey. oh. I got to tell you, I don't know if everybody remembers the shark, but I know everybody remembers that. That is true. Hey, hey. hey. And then check his hair and then don't comb it and get the fuck out of there. <laughs> I'm in for that. Fuck okay. the jump. Okay. Yeah. We're just smacking the, jump, the side. Smack. You know what? This is, we're whiteboarding here, fellas. Now, wait a minute. Does somebody come in with a flame, maybe shoot an arrow or drop a fiery car and it doesn't light, and then he comes in and bangs it oh. and it lights? Well, people are we, we, got, two, we got two or three ideas. Yeah. We can all try to light it our own way, and then yes. the Fonz comes in and bangs it once, I like and that. we're back in the I'll game. Guys, this is coming together. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is sounds coming great. Together. I it, hope somebody out there is taking notes because this is I, a, I'm this taking a notes. Run. I'm emailing the IOC right now. I think we might get the bid for this. You know guys, how yeah. they all do the dances and the choreography and all that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if we just have Hawaiian music the whole time? And what? Just people sitting in in uh, We're just relaxing, sitting in chairs. Yeah, palm <laughs> chairs. <laughs> they're just they're just That's sitting it. in lounge chairs. <laughs> we'll give them a palm leaf, and they can make little. Make them feel like they're on vacation, opening ceremony. I like that. Easing them in. Yeah. Easing, Easing them in. You don't need to shock the no, shit out of them. No, it's two no, weeks. Got, We're not so ripping much a bandaid. Athletics to watch to get excited about. Yes. Let them right. just relax. Let's ease, ease in. in. Ease in. Ease it. We're easing in, fellas. I think the whole thing will be full of homeless people just sitting there easing in. True. Yeah. We're gonna claim. It doesn't get any easier for them. For them. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, you don't want to ease it because they'll just die. <laughs> just scatter a couple fentanyl guys in yeah. the middle. <laughs> that would be phenomenal. You just have tweakers. Yeah. It's all tweakers, too. <laughs> just all music. Over. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to America. <laughs> Skin the low. athletes are walking over them as they walk. <laughs> Bunch of tents everywhere. All the athletes fail their drug oh, tests shit. after that. The Jamaican oh. his country comes in, they start smoking the drugs while they walk in. Oh my god! All right, well, hey, listen. Well, that would, that's a great idea. Actually, we could stereotype every country. Oh, so when they come in, like as a team, the Jamaicans are all smoking their spliffs. Yes, dude, like, that would be fucking good too. I think we'd just probably go, get into some some trouble. Korea I comes in, they start making some cars. <laughs> hey, Don, this isn't yeah. a career. This is a one time show this for is us. A one-time we're, show. We're, we're getting not, fired. Yeah. We're one and done. Good or bad, we're getting it's fired. It's still better right. than what we just saw. So yeah, I, you know, I'm gonna tell you, the bar's pretty low. How the hell did we just come up with this? This was fantastic, <laughs> yeah, guys. A lot of good ideas. The, Great uh, ideas, not just the good. The Russians can bring some vodka in. Uh... There's a lot of stereotypes we could do. There's a lot of stereotypes, but you, if you're doing one, you got to do them all. That's a lot of stereotypes. I like the homeless part. The homeless part. Is I think just the fantastic. homeless part. See a guy is chasing, chasing the athletes with like a shopping cart. <laughs> they, is, they don't even know it's what to the do. 2020. Well, 2028 version of the thriller. Yes. Right, it's just zombies 100%. running around trying to get the and just girl. chasing him, yeah. and, and 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 the athletes trying to act casual. Yeah. But there's Hawaiian music on, yeah, so they're dancing. They don't want to offend anybody. Yeah. What if we, what if we do a like a fiddly dicker relay race in the middle of it? Ooh. I'll tell you, I'm not running. Well, you don't have to. Okay, good. I and think I'm, my knee will be okay by then. I think we could do well, it. Well, then you're going to fall again yeah, right before true. he gets <laughs> to yeah. the finish line. But I'm wearing knee pads this time. I got all. <laughs> or we do out. some synchronized <laughs> diving. Fuck that. That looks scary. All of us. We if I was going to do one Olympic I think we Olympic could pull thing, that off. What would you do? If you were going to do one Olympic, I guess if you, let's do 
two things. If you're the best athlete in the world, oh, I like what, that. What event do you do? Mm. Mm. That's tough. Mm. Well, I always had a thing for the pole vault. The pole vault fucking looks hard. It gets really high though. It's I hard. think running though, like a hundred meter sprint, like Just you're, to get you're, it done, you're like a Superman. Like that's a, you know yeah, what I mean? That is like true. Fastest man in fastest the world. Fastest man in the world. That's right. fucking badass. Yeah. I don't know. That badminton's pretty badass to watch. Ooh, you know, let me ask badminton. you this: shit, ping pong oh. or table tennis? Yeah. What do you guys think of like the team sports, like soccer, or basketball? I mean, they already have their own following. Isn't it kind of like kind of cheating against like the athletes that don't really have their mainstream yeah. sports? Like, yeah, but they're not winning. It's the same guys, the same fucking professional guys that you see playing out True. in the. In yeah, the NBA, yeah, now they're, they're not winning. The, they're, they're but it struggling. doesn't matter. But I, I, oh, are you saying then they're going I'm saying to their they country? Shouldn't be in the Olympics? I'm saying that I'm saying that I don't know if that should be an Olympic sport. Well, so here's the problem with that: if it's already a sport. Why is it an Olympic sport? Here's the thing: if it's not, say you take pros out completely, with, mm-hmm. like worldwide, there can be no pros that play in the NBA playing in the Olympics on any country. Okay, see that I would like. All right, it'd be so fucking boring. And here's right. why. And you know, it is that, boring now, though. No, it is boring, but at least you are you can, like, oh, shit, maybe they're going to do some kind of crazy move. You never know, right? Oh, like the debut stuff. At yeah, the like something may come out. Like, oh. there's just somebody, uh, who knows, right? You never, somebody just gets on fire, and you're like, that's fucking pretty to watch. That's true. If you're not playing with the pros, you're not really going to get somebody on fire. Yeah, right, and right. I'll tell you why. I was just watching, I don't know if you knew this, three-on-three basketball. I watched it today. In the Olympics? Jimmer Fredette. Rick, Rick Berry's Rick son. Rick Berry's son was doing the, the underhand, underhand free throws. Yes. I watched See, that game Three today. on three. That's fucking, that's an Olympic sport to me. So here's the thing. That is actually in the Olympics? Yes. Yeah. There's, yeah, Rick Berry's son was playing. Yeah, no USA already lost, but I think no. both games. They're terrible. If, so here's the thing. I'm They're looking at this. Absolutely terrible. That's what, would it, that's what it would be if we weren't allowed to have NBA players. Why aren't the NBA players doing that? That would be fucking phenomenal. Switch right. it. Have the three you on three think, guys yes. playing in the five, would be great. and then play the pros instead of that NBA. You think Ice Cube would have his three on three guys in there, guys. This is going to be the best Olympics coming up ever. Yeah. We're in charge. What about the ideas that are coming out I of us know. tonight, fellas? I what know. about staying on the basketball theme? What if they did a like a non professional, no professional athletes dunk contest around the world? No, I don't like a dunk contest. Oh, yeah, you but, don't know what you're going to get. No, but it's, they do the same shit. How about like a three-point contest or something? I yeah, like to listen. That's the we same take shit the pros, every time. You're right. We take the pros. <laughs> they go to the threes. We take the shitty three, three-on-three players and put them with some other college kids or on just, the five-on-five five team. Or just send them home. Or just send them home. We don't even need to do that. Put them in the bleachers. We need cheering. Yeah, <laughs> we do need cheering. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. That's a fucking great idea. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah. And I, if you could invent a sport, uh, an event, what would you do? I think they're just inventing them constantly. I I, well, let's throw one out. We're, we're planning this I think whole next they're one. they're doing five or ten new ones every Olympics now. So I'm going to tell you, and I don't know why, if, if table tennis, you can't, it's not even ping pong anymore. It's table tennis, which, all right, I'm fine. Like, I don't have a problem. Table tennis goes back, right? But ping pong is how I know of the sport. And it almost sounds like you're making fun of it, I think, was their thing. They're like, don't call it ping pong, man. It sounds silly. Call it table tennis. They, they, they said that to you? Well, it's like boogie board and, and body, body board, right? Body Some surfing. people don't like to say boogie hey, board. But the Asians That's love true, ping pong. They like to say ping pong. That's how, and they're the best at it, right? But I almost think, was that, were we making fun of them? And yeah. I apologize so you think if they we yeah. were. 100% we were. We were? Oh, oh, do you want to play, yeah. yeah, do you want to play ping pong? So you yeah. think, you think, and it was, by the way, ceremonies, they come all playing ping pong? Ding dong. Ping pong. Ping pong was actually brother-sister champions in China. For ping pong. That's how oh, it got shit. its name. Oh, well, we got there. Just, That's true. How long before? Ping pong uh, chin. Ping and pong chin. How long before pickleball <laughs> takes the stage? Already, yeah, it it should already? be in already. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. assume it's All here. Right, Breakdancing's in this year. Fuck. Okay. He, you know what? We got to go ahead. I was going to say mini shuffleboard. What a game. <laughs> oh, right, get the haze ready. Get the haze well, ready. Oh, no. We got to go through the. Well, it's going to happen. Call there. Well, call from. from. It's going to call collect. It's coming. This is Bob. Call. To accept, press one. Dis- Hello. Hello. Hey, hey Bobby. Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Oh. Hey, Bobby. Hey. Bobby. Hey. Ping pong. <laughs> Bob, Bob, Bob. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Well, he, that's, that's his uh, question. He wants to know what's yeah, happening. I'm trying to figure that out. That's what I'm trying to do. Mr. Bob Lemont? Lemont? Are you on a yeah, landline? Bob, Lemont, how you Lemont. Doing? Bob doing? we're doing fantastic. We Listen, are. you got one minute. Tell us all about yourself. One minute. I, I got my stopwatch out. 
You got to tell me your whole life history 52 in seconds. one minute. And um, go. Well, it was a gray and rainy morning, and my mother got drugged to the hospital uh, from the poorhouse when I was born. It was about day 35 in the morning. How many more seconds do I have left? 32. Oh, we're going we're gonna to open up some time for you. you got yeah. 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 47 <laughs> minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> hey, I'm Bob Lament. I'm from Static Radio. I am uh, a co-host of that show. I've been doing that show for many, many years. And uh, I like to, you know, talk on the Internet. That's the big thing, really. Well, I mean, it's an honor and, to be uh, beyond. I mean, we've been doing this for 30 years. Yeah. yeah. So to be with somebody that's doing it, you know, catching up yeah. 25 years. Not bad. It's low yeah, I've, I, so you guys have been doing this for how long? Thirty years. Thirty years. We, we yeah. got advice for you because I know you called for some advice. Yeah, <laughs> give him <laughs> some advice. <laughs> Hang in there. Yeah. It gets better. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I've been doing this show for twenty five years. How fucking old are you? People? Oh, we're really we're like old. Seven yeah. years old. Yeah, 80. we're not like Bob. Uh, Thirty two. Once, once you're yeah. Bob, you're, you you got to reach a certain age. Well, and that's why we're awake. I mean, we're afraid to go to sleep. Death comes for you. Oh, okay. In case you're gonna, <laughs> you'll keel over. Yeah. You know, yeah. So we just stay up and record. Okay. Yeah, I was uh, eight so, when we started this. So did you work in radio prior to all this business? We were born no. in radio. NPR. Born in radio. We did I NPR. Okay. No, we, we, we <laughs> yeah. were we were recording on cassette, waiting for oh, the yeah. day that uh, digital. <laughs> yeah. to, wait, waiting yeah. it for all to go digital. We've converted it all, <laughs> and now here we are. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, hey, fantastic. You guys are on AM radio, and uh, that's that's great. Ah, yeah, it's like three letter stations in the whole bit, right? Yeah. So, from what I understand, you started this in college. Uh, so the no, I didn't start it in college. I started it right after college. So, went to college, did college radio, and then um, shortly after that, I said, you know, life's not so fun. Let's do something fun. I want to learn about this internet business, and so. I said, hey, let's just record our old college show and stick it on the internet. I think I know how to do that. And that's what it started from. So, yeah, we kind of did a version of what we still do uh, in college, but it, it was a little bit different because it was, there were more rules, put it that way. Yeah. He's rules. got me thinking. I used to be a DJ, and so I had two turntables and a mixer, and I would literally make mixtapes, mm-hmm. right? With scratching and mixing. I, I and still to this minutes. day want to hear you yeah. do oh, that. Oh, and I got them. It's fantastic. But here's what I'm starting to think. Maybe yeah. I start a podcast with just me playing those old mixtapes. Oh, you got them down already. Can you do that though? Yeah, make money. Is that, a, is that an infringement? <laughs> you like music? Yourself. Is that a music okay, infringement? You, don't, you, you made don't them. care? <laughs> you care? You're right. You're right. You got me. I'm a goddamn you got one outlaw. Foot in the grave. Who cares? Who cares? Yeah. DJs don't care. You can't be afraid of the man. They don't yeah. care. Especially, I was DJ you Chaos. Pay your, pay your ass right. cap BMI dues and you'll be all good. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's cheap. It's oh, cheap. Oh, fucking BMI. Music industry, they don't yeah. care. They don't care. They let you rip yeah. like a day. nickel. Seven yeah. cents. Yeah, yeah. it's Seven a nickel. Cents. You're right. You're right. Who doesn't have that? <laughs> Bob was I mean, have you got? Are you on Spotify? You guys uh, getting money from Spotify? You can get nickels, nickels and dimes. You just give yeah. them back. No, we, yeah, we, we give it back to them. We actually yeah. give it back. We're like, listen, we don't need this. Just dime bags. Yeah, they're hurting. They're so Bob, hurting, yeah. so they need the money. Yeah. We want to bring you in on our conversation. So, did you happen to see the opening ceremonies of the uh, the Olympics? I, I did not watch it live or anything, but I did. You I see read the clips, the news right? Coverage. You see all the clips. Yeah, I seen the clips. All right. Yeah. You uh, are I, for some reason everybody's focused on somebody's blue ball sack. Yeah, so, we had a dangling yeah. participle. That's what I heard. <laughs> yeah. Great word. Yeah, I was I like, like I'm, I didn't see it as honestly when I looked at the pictures, I didn't see it as a ball sack. I saw it more as a kind of unfortunate underwear. Yeah. You don't want to yeah. wear unfortunate underwear. I don't know anybody that has unfortunate underwear. I think I have underwear. one pair. I, I have think one pair. There's, a, I, I there's a lot of that in the world. <laughs> yeah. It's usually yeah. not. I thought sky unfortunate, blue or uh, unfortunate armor uh, underwear. Oh, yeah. Jesus uh, Christ! Yeah, you, you, underwear is uh, commando. Oh, commando. Yeah. Yeah, under uh, under armor. You got no the unfortunate underwear. under armor. No ar- No underwear. Yeah. I'm having a real tough time with that. that so thing. so you guys, did you think that that thing was the Last Supper? That's what a lot of people are like. Oh, this yeah. is the Last Supper. It can't. It, it, you know, I, I didn't really. It. That didn't come it. across to me necessarily. The way they were standing, and then the guy in the middle being Judas. I, I get it. I mean, it did it, it have that little bit of a tone. But Bob, you're in charge of the- just because you put everybody on one side of a table doesn't mean it's Jesus. I mean, 
half the time you go into the Olive Garden and there's only a couple people that are all sitting on one side of the booth. You know what? Hold on a second. Anytime you go to the Olive Garden, it's the Last Supper. Speaking, That's all I'm saying. Sure. Speaking, well, wait a minute. <laughs> they a, have phenomenal breadsticks. You're not going to get sick. Supper. You're not going to get sick That's, from that. Uh, you're going to die. So let me ask you this. You're on a date with your wife. Do you sit on the same side? I got to tell you, sometimes you do. It depends on the restaurant. Like, yeah. if, if that view is nice, you don't want to be facing oh, the, the wall. View. Right? What if it's a booth, like a half booth, it's right? It's a booth. It's, it's, so it's a half booth. So you got the, the mm-hmm. booth on the wall, but the chair is facing the wall. You got this beautiful oh, restaurant. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful restaurant. Know. The booth is facing a beautiful restaurant. You're facing the beautiful wall. So wait a second. You get out and you go into the side of the booth that your wife is on. Correct. And sit with I her do that. and have dinner. And put, my feet, in and put my feet in the chair. I will be across. <laughs> I'll be across for I'll sure. Across. So you've got a built-in ottoman on top of 100%. that. 100%. Oh, you this is great. Now, this chair. changes the whole thing. Two drinks in, the feet go up. Oh. Five or six drinks, the shoes come off. I'm Here's convinced. My... I'm doing this from now on. I'm saying yes yeah. to leave. <laughs> All right. What do you think of that? You may have changed my mind because I would always point and laugh at the people that were doing that. No. Yeah. Listen, you, at a certain age, you get a, you get a certain confidence where, you, You're right. you where don't the give people a are shit. laughing, you think they're laughing with you. Yeah. You're a right. good call. Mm. Well, let's get back on topic here. Bob, Bob, we weren't done with the Olympics with you yet. You're in charge. You're the choreography director of the next. The the choreographer. Yeah, yeah, for the next Olympics. We believe it's in L.A. We could be completely wrong, but I think that's where it is. I I think it is in L.A. Okay, so what are you doing? Go ahead and give us our Uh, whole outline. If if it's in L.A., I would say it would be uh, synchronized shopping carts. Oh! Oh, Have you ever been to Dodging. If you've ever been to LA, it's got a bad homeless yeah. problem. Dodging a lot of people. That's what we just said. Yeah. Right on it. Because yeah. that's what we yeah, said we when talking. the athletes come in, they got to crawl over to homeless on the yeah. way to the to the stands. Yeah. And then yeah. uh, we were going to stereotype all the countries and um, do different <laughs> dances for the countries. And we have the Fonz hitting. They kinda, yeah. they we kind of do that for years. Anyway. Stereotype all the countries. <laughs> oh, that have be- you seen the mascot for this year's Olympic? It's yeah. a little tiny hat. Yeah. I mean, like the Monopoly yeah. hat. No, it's like a, it's like a, I don't even know what it's called, but it's a little tiny, a you know, Oh, French speaking hat. of mascots, yeah. have you seen the uh, pool cap getter guy? Have you guys watched swimming at all? Oh, when he mm-hmm. jumped, jumped he, in the pool? He's got to wear the Speedo and get the <laughs> caps Wait, out of the pool. This guy has a gut like us. He's, <laughs> and somebody dropped. There's no joke, no dude. Way. They dropped the swim Bob, cap. Bob and the cap catcher. That's his name. The swim cap's at the bottom of the pool. So this guy comes out from the outside. <laughs> he's got to take his shit off. He's got oh, the tightest it. Speedo and the biggest <laughs> gut. And he's a retriever? He's, he's, that's all he does. Board. And he comes out of the pool and he raises his hands up with the swim yeah. cap and everybody <laughs> He's like, he does it. Dude, he's taking this stuff by storm. Like, he's got his own, like, you know, Instagram page. Like, he is super famous right now. His name's Bob the Cap Catcher. Listen, I, an, like I, honestly oh, think, yeah, yeah. I honestly think that's the next step from sitting with your wife on the same side of the booth. <laughs> <Yeah>. Because <laughs> I don't know where the fuck else you can go. <laughs> this poor guy, he's got dad bod and he's got a speedo on. And he's just got to get a cap out of the water. <laughs> Holy shit, I need to see. I can't no, believe I haven't I seen this. I can't believe you haven't seen it. Oh, we'll we'll find the clip for you. Everywhere. Sure. We'll right. find it. That sounds great, though. Yeah, yeah. But he, I, think, I think he has to come to opening ceremonies. Okay. Mm. Yeah, get Bob the Cap. This, this is going to be the greatest opening ceremony. Yeah, he all. has to be in. <laughs> I could not wait. I'm already counting down the, 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 the years. Bob the Cap oh catcher. Uh, so, Bob, I got a question yeah. for you. You went, I, yeah. I was listening to, to the show today, catching up. Sure. You went to Yellowstone recently, huh? Ooh. Oh, yeah, I was at Yellowstone uh, a couple weeks ago, yeah. Did you see the explosion? I did not. I was there just ahead of the explosion. I was there when the people ran their SUV into the geyser. Oh, my what? God. You were what? there for that? Remember that one? That. Yeah. I that didn't hear like, this story. No, I didn't hear about this that This is man, man on the Yeah, that's the, uh, a week, the week, of, the week the before yeah. the explosion. Maybe it had something to do with the explosion. Maybe the, guy, the SUV, like, you know, stopped up. What kind of different oh, guys are and it blew up, you know, like got oh. stuck in like the cartoons. He plugged the leak on one yeah. to make the other one leak up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's like fucking that. phenomenal, Bob. That's I don't know old, where you're getting your information. You got to go to CNN trip. with this. They're they're Don's Don's you can search Don, Don, Don thought Google the world it. was coming to an end. Yeah. Now it's just a guy in a pickup yeah, truck. Yeah, a guy in a goddamn Chevy. Geysers. Jesus Christ, doesn't know how to fucking drive. 
So we're all going to live after all. Yeah, yeah we're good. Because Bob, uh, Bob uh, Don thinks that Yellowstone's going to exp- um, erupt soon. I'm a little nervous, Bob. Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think it's going to. Wait, what do you, was it breathing And or I'll anything? tell you why. There's so much activity while you're there. I mean, it's constantly going on. I don't think, I mean, there's too much release. You know what I mean? It's not going to explode. Um, there's too much going on. Oh, there's too much release. They don't explode that much. I mean, they explode like 50 feet out. Who cares? Just, I don't know. Yeah, but that, that releases all that pressure. I mean, it's yeah. not sticking yeah. around. It's constantly bubbling. It's like Everywhere a volcano. You go, it's bubbling. See, right? Just a regular volcano. See, Sometimes I'm you have glad. to. No, it's not, but it's not, a, it's not though. It's, it's just it's like a, a baby oh volcano, Bob. Baby I, volcano. I absolutely love Bob. He's calming everybody down. He's like, listen, yes. relax. It's going to yes. be fine. Trump, Kamala, it's all fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't, yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, 100%. Bob, I'm with I you. mean,. You saw them, you saw the news. You saw those people at the the one that exploded. They like backed off thirty feet. That's true. Watched the show no, and then they, they didn't went watch back the to sightseeing. The scene. one lady pushed the kid off the <laughs> off the bridge. I mean, it was fucking pandemonium, Bob. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the hell they, you were nobody watching? Nobody got hurt. Nobody I mean, got hurt. you know, well, well the rocks flying. Got hurt. Yeah. yeah, that whole that, that it bridge was, got it hurt. It was like a slightly uncontrolled uh, amusement park. That's yeah. all. Yeah, and that's the other thing. Yeah. These fucking amusement parks with these these uh, rides getting stuck. Did you see about the one? There was yeah. two rides in uh, Six Flags that got stuck upside down really? for two hours. Ooh, dude, that's yeah, well, awesome. that's part of the experience, isn't it? 100%. I mean, rather than yeah, I dude. would rather be stuck on the ride than standing in line for two 100%. hours. One hundred percent. Those yeah. lines are horrible. That's what you pay for the thrill. Fuck, you're right though. No I, way. I love positive. Yeah. Spin I mean, yeah. wouldn't me that be cool? And then yeah. chances positive are bomb. they got some yeah. perks. They're like, oh hey, let us get you a hot dog. Yeah, let us get you some a pizza. Corn dog you know? and an yeah. eighty-two ounce soda. Oh, like that. <laughs> That's right. Let's get a giant turkey leg and a big uh, drink. And you do think like I upside down set. beer bongs and stuff? They get the beer bongs up there, you hang it upside down. <laughs> yeah, Jeez. whatever. Yeah, oh, I would do that. This sounds fucking great. You want to go now? Do you think I could get a punch card? But like you know, they're like um, they'd be like everybody. If you reach underneath your seat, there is a packet of Valium that you can take while we're waiting for this to get resort oh, yeah. sorted out. See, but so. here's the thing: like I could handle it if I was just stuck regularly, right? Like right side up. These people are getting mm-hmm. stuck upside down. Well, yeah, that's what makes it interesting. Otherwise, part, it's just part of sitting the, around. Part of the experience. But how does yeah, your... Don't just hang it out? Yeah, just hanging out. Yeah. Well, you, I get stuck on the couch all the time like that, yeah, that for hours. <laughs> if it was upside down, yeah. that would be a story. <laughs> that's why I don't tell you guys about it. It's not that interesting. <laughs> They're, they're like, hey, oh, we're doing you a favor. We're Jesus. pumping all this blood to your brain. You're going to be super smart afterwards. It's all good. Yeah, I love this. I love positive Bob. What do you think of the fires, Bob? Is that good? <laughs> they're clearing out some yeah. brush over there. <laughs> you're you're going to laugh. Brush okay, in so I drove, Bob? <laughs> I drove out west after Yellowstone through, through the fires. There are literally signs on the highway, electronic signs as well as, um, uh, you know, like Static. Uh, the Static orange signs, signs that yeah. say, don't call us. We know there's a fire. <laughs> 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 Have you not so you seen called. this? The, so you call this them? should be a meme because we were driving along and you see all this smoke and then and then the next thing you know we go by this electronic sign that says don't call us we know there's a fire <laughs> that's actually freaking genius that is. and funny and yeah. and there there were like stationary signs as well as electronic signs and I mean I've probably seen I don't know maybe four or five fires off in the distance. Um, yeah, so they don't I scare mean, you. So did it did it like point. cross your no, mind? No, after no, like not the, at all. After like the tenth no. fire you saw, we like. We should probably call. Yeah, I don't know if they know about yeah. all of these. That's true. How That's many do you let go, Bob? How far do you drive it to? Yeah. Yeah. Do they know about this? Have you seen 18 fires, Bob? Is 19th yeah. the one that tips you over? One of them you got to call. We got a new one. That's yeah. at 332. Damn it, Lucy. <laughs> you you, you want to be faced with, why didn't you call us? Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, you That's don't want to be faced with, Bob. Why didn't you call us? When you're on vacation, when you're on vacation, <laughs> the best thing to do is not, not to call. <laughs> not think- to call. Now, I will tell you, last year I went on vacation. I went down to Florida, and we were driving on the highway, and literally I watched a guy jump off the overpass onto the highway. Ouch. Was he okay? And he landed on his head. Oh, was it, was he I'm sorry. Right? You saw I called the police for that one. I called the police, and yeah. you know what they said? We know. He's been doing that all day. Exactly. <laughs> we know we're sending somebody over there. <laughs> and then when I got to Florida and I was at Disney World, they called me while I was waiting for Small World and wanted to talk about it. Oh. oh. Who wanted to talk about it? Yeah. Never call. Never call. I would want to jump you, off a bridge. You should have gotten on the ride and had him listen to that song the whole time for the whole conversation. Yeah, it make me want to jump off a bridge. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh. It, that's what a way to start your vacation. You watch your guy jump off a bridge. That's Isn't terrible. that fantastic? That's terrible. And way to bring the yeah, fucking bring show now, Bob. See, now Jeez, like and there's negative Bob. Bob. Yeah. We knew yeah. it was coming. Yeah. Positive Bob. It was only yeah. like, oh, Listen, yeah. downer Bob. Yeah, yeah. you could only, Bob. yeah, you could only uh, handle. You could only do positive Bob yeah. for so long. We knew downer you Bob. Did what you okay. Did, yeah. Well, I'm just telling you, there's a yang and a yang. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah. forest fires, oh, all good. Guy shooting himself off of an overpass, probably not so good. Yeah. Yeah. Man, he's such a pro at yeah. this. Hey, he, do, he's doing. he does. You know what? And I don't know if this is possible, but guys, I got these fucking new shorts. Uh-oh. And usually I don't talk about shorts. Well, I almost don't. want you guys to try these on. <laughs> I don't know if you can. <laughs> but these things are fucking fantastic. And I guarantee, so I don't know why, I guarantee, I'm not going to tell you. You have to feel it. <laughs> what are they? Give them a plug. Uh... Kai, what are they like? Kai. Lycra? Are they like some kind of bicycle shorts? Nut huggers? What is yeah. going on? Bob, I'm going to tell you. I have, I have no idea what these are made out of. With butt cheek inserts. They do not get wet. They feel fucking great. I swear Wait, I can run what? faster. What, what, but you don't what? run, though. No, I don't <laughs> run. But in my mind, if, did. if I was running, yeah. I have a yeah. feeling that yeah. these things I'm yeah. running faster yeah. What's with. What's it called? It's Kai yeah. Aloha. They're and frictionless. They're frictionless shorts. Fuck yeah, they are. Aerodynamic. So uh, a yeah. company called Kailoa. Those are just called nut huggers. Yeah. And they, uh, That's and they dynamic. only decided to come out with these shorts because of the whole Lahaina thing. So they lost that thing in Lahaina. So I'm like, you know what? They never make shorts. Let me try these things. I don't know why they're not making shorts. The first, They had a gray pair. What are they made out of? Uh, banana leaves? Will you stop? I didn't t- <laughs> Bob, listen. I'm not fucking Betsy Ross. I don't know what they're made out of. I told you. They're some kind of fucking magic material. You got to have an idea. You're, they're yeah. touching they your can, privates. Oh, yeah, yeah. You have no idea what's touching your privates. You probably yeah. need to take a little uh, inventory of your life. I mean, that's you know what, what I'm saying. Uh, that's it, like it could he be, always gets new clothes. Could, that he, he's always got a story it could be behind made it. out of yeah. of, uh, of of sanded cockleburs. For all you know, oh, it's, it's yeah. you know what? Yeah. I, could, <laughs> see now, now, now you got to look and, it up. And you, and you take a wrong turn, and now you got oh, like a hundred little things poking into your nutsack. How do you spell this? I'm going to tell you, Downer Bob. You got to get yourself out of this one. You got to go <laughs> with me on this. This this is uh, <laughs> it's fantastic material. I'm going to tell you, it's like when somebody gives you something, and they say. What does this taste like? It's so hard to to sometimes get the right taste. It takes a little while when you're wearing these I, shorts. I have a guess. Great. These are women's shorts. <laughs> 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 he may Bob, be Bob knows not, his shit. Nothing yeah. smells and his shorts. better than women's clothing, and yeah. you've just got a pair of women's shorts that you think are really fantastic. Yeah. I, then I'm buying more because these things are. If this is women's, what the fuck? Yeah. Why are they hoarding this? Yeah. Because guys, you need a little. You got to have a little uh, struggle in your life. That's you, true. You got to yeah. be, you know, digging around and moving things all day, and it gives you little distractions so that that way you don't actually get any gumption and actually do something with your life. So you're always tugging at your nuts. That's right. If life was then easy, we'd women, all be women. Women's all smooth. Yeah, all smooth, silky, comfortable. <laughs> yeah, just see sitting they around eating bonbons all day. You know? <laughs> Pop a few you, babies out. Guys got to have a distraction all day long. And you sit there and you're like, God damn, these, these underwear are binding. And now I got to stand up, you know. Might as well go, go back stretch. to work. <laughs> Sitting here isn't working, doing it for me. I can't concentrate. I mean, what's going on? You can't find these damn things. I can't spell it. What the hell are you doing yeah. over there, pal? This is, I yeah. buy some this is why everybody is so afraid of the transgender movement. All right, hold because on, once, we make, once we flip that switch, there's That's no true. control in everybody. That's true. K-A-I- are you helping him look stuff up? Is this what's happening? Is this what they're resorting to? Yeah, hold on. Sorry. It's, oh, K-A-I-Aloha.com. With a W behind it because it's the woman's. So what is it? Uh, made from old Kia seat covers? Is that the idea? <laughs> you know what? You joke about that, but I had a Kia. And uh, I'm going to tell you, I think it was the Cadenza. I had the Kia Cadenza because I just wanted to try one out. This was years and years ago when they first came out. Yeah, this Cadenza. I don't think they've made those since the 80s. Or <laughs> That's true. It may have, may have been the 80s. This thing was fantastic, though. All the bells and whistles, fully loaded. Power windows. Everything. $32,000. Two rear view mirrors. On each, one on each side. <laughs> it's fucking Remember great. when cars only had one side view mirror? I grew those up driving. Days. That's how I took yeah. my fucking driver's <laughs> test with one. How the hell am I supposed to see over on the other side? Why we're you such good drivers? Wow. Mm. 
It's fucking it was wild. the backup camera like we a Fisher one. Price thing or something? Yeah. What the hell? Yeah, right. There was no fucking backup camera. We had to look all the way around. I'm going to tell you, I don't think I could fucking move my neck and back that way anymore. That's a lot. I'm not that flexible. Well, so 32000 That sounds expensive. Underwear. I was going to say, that's like No, it wasn't in the now. 80s. It was like 2000 It was like 2000 <laughs> Eight. What the hell are you talking about? Well, fully I got a 2008 cadenza. Still 32000 back then. At 2008? That's a fucking fantastic deal. I'll tell you right like now. Like a special edition? <laughs> People, yes. Let's define. Full options. Let's define fully loaded because yeah. if you had one mirror. 220 <laughs> horsepower, Nick. How would you eat on that? <laughs> <laughs> With one mirror. Did they have a tie yeah. in the Jurassic Park or something and like the Jurassic Park edition yeah. or something? I don't know. But I will tell you, it was the most comfortable. It was the only car that I decided to not get leather on. I got cloth. <laughs> This only gets worse. And let me tell you. For 32000 So many and options. Now you're wearing them as underwear. And now yes. I finally been, it all comes full circle yeah. where I now am wearing them on yeah. the best shorts I've you. ever had. It was the best car I've ever owned. FM radio. And these are the best shorts I've ever had. So I'm worn. Well, so, hey. What yeah. a day. Uh, congratulations. FM radio on that thing. Oh, it had a radio, but you probably wanted to put an aftermarket in the thing. DD player? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 10 discs. They had a radio, but it was oh, vertical. Yeah. yeah. Do you ever think it? about getting it again, just looking through the old used cars and like, oh man. Yeah, I you bet probably you could pick I bet one up on awesome. Auto Trader for, for like 29000 yeah. You could probably get one for around 29000 right So now. when I see an old car that I had that's very rare, like I had an old school 82 Honda Accord that had the one mirror on, and, if I, and then I had the Cadenza, right? So if I ever see any of my old cars, it's almost like they're thinking of me. Because we had such a bond together. It was like a man and their horse. When you see one, do you ever try to sit behind the wheel just to get a feel? Yeah. You could probably click skip lunch one day and get the whole collection. I don't know. I'm going to tell you right now. I think you can go uh, an 82 Honda Accord, probably selling for, you know, 25 grand. <laughs> oh, get out of here. Oh, yeah. Those here. things are fucking well, vintage. That's how much Don pays for this stuff. Yeah. It started to rattle. It was the best car to learn how to drive on. Because if I went over 55, it, it would start, the fucking steering wheel would yeah. start to shake. Very safe. That's what we need to bring back for these kids. Because I'm afraid when my wheel? kids, when it goes too fast, the goddamn wheel shakes and it takes you off for, off the road. Oh, you yeah. automatically, you, All right. maybe you don't go car too gur- fast because Car it gurus have 300 some from $3,500 to $33,000. That's a big spread. 33000 for, for an 82 Honda? Well, I, I did, it says for Honda Accord. I told so you I was a, no. You got to look at a 1982. Yeah, you, 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 so you, they got Listen. filters. They got filters for that. Filter yeah. that down. If you have a Google search, if you're Google searching right now no, here, you, you got to do better than that. If you just Google search Honda Accord price, I'm going to be very upset with you. It needs to be 1982, one side mirror, oh baby God. blue, with 320 underwear. You're pulling your life for Christ's sake. 200 thousand miles because those motherfuckers at least 200. Oh my God! Flip, this, I'm looking. At, you could flip the odometer on those things. <laughs> was that mirror on the hood like Japanese style? No, no, it no. was on the side like a goddamn respectable car. All right. <laughs> no fucking James Bond. <laughs> I'm looking at one that's a piece of shit. They won six thousand dollars for it. Oh shit! Yeah. Six thousand dollars. It's not bad. It, it's one. in Colorado, which means you know it's been driven to hell. That's how people. they're supposed to go. In some accords. Just old. How about just yeah. fucking like old cars? Yeah. I like to get one but of those. But not like uh, old, old cars. No, like 80s. 80s. Yeah. Like, like an MR2. Like I want an old school MR2. Oh, MR2. Or like a Del Sol. Oh, there one you the go. Other day, but it was like a 90s. And I was pretty That's impressed what with, you how, need. with how sporty it looked. Yeah. It looked kind of nice. Like I want a Del Sol. Like yeah. the old Honda Del yeah. Sols. I was yeah. wanted one of those there for a little go. bit. What about the Mustang with the louvers on the back window? Get, really, get yourself yeah. a really uh, anything with get yourself some hair window. extensions in that underwear and go out in your MR2 with the top off and, and have <laughs> yes. a good time. I'm gonna tell you, this I is all one of those. Uh, what was the car? It wasn't. It was like a car, but like had the truck bed in it. Oh, the brat? Oh, dude, Camino? Was, it, was it a Toyota? El Camino. I want oh, yeah, El Camino. Yeah, yeah. El Camino. Yeah. You could probably pick yeah. one up for like the five grand. Entity. No, Sub- they're Subaru Brat. Now the Maverick nowadays, you can get a Maverick brand new with a, no. with a truck a, car thing. Those are terrible. How about a Toyota Supra, like an old school Supra? They still go. Yeah, for a eighty-two lot of money. Supra would be 82. good. Yeah. Yeah, like there's so many. All right, come on, are you looking these up, Bob? I need some prices. <laughs> That we were getting ready to buy. I'll pay you back. What is dealers? I'm not buying no Come fucking on, car for you. Come on, let's fucking get going here. Jesus Christ. 
Auto Trader, Bob. That's all we got to do. Right, Bob. He wants to buy an Accord for twenty five thousand. I thought, I thought, I thought we were talking about your silky underwear. And now all of a sudden we're talking about Hondas. Yeah, yeah. Now we touch all subjects. Yeah. So you got to. We, we literally yeah. touch. We started, with, yeah. we started with blue balls. So go yeah. figure. Yeah. yeah. We we were you quick know around what you're here. Get when you're dicking. Yeah. With the fiddlies. Yeah. <laughs> so, Bob, where are you located anyway? Uh, I'm in St. Louis, Missouri. Oh, yeah. you're not far from us. We're up here right down Ch- the street. Right down the street. We're here in Chicago. Where are you at? Kansas City? No. Chicago. No, Chicago. Oh, the long, Chicago. The long Street. Yeah. The Long Street. Okay. Yeah, Chicago. So we're at in Chicago. What suburb? North side, area. south side? Naperville area. Oh, my God. A bunch of Naperville yeah, people. Yeah. God no, love you. That's our neighbors. No. Yeah, that's our neighbors. Those are shitty neighbors to the east. North. North. Oh, but you, so you're North. not in Naperville. I go to East. We just say that because everybody knows Naperville. It's actually Plainfield. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Gotcha, Plainfield. Gotcha. Yeah. No, I went to school with a some bunch of people from Naperville. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Went to college. Bunch of assholes. Oh, I'm sorry. Aren't they? Tell them I said hi. I know. No, no, no. Nice guys. Nice oh, they're guys nice. All right. Then tell them we said hi. I thought they were going to be jerks. So I was going. I was going negative first, Bob. You got <laughs> yeah. me in a got me in a mood. But he turned it around. Where'd you go to school at? I went to Carbondale, Southern Illinois University, of Carbondale. Oh, nice. Hey, do you know? Uh, and, and the, uh, did I know? Yeah. Do, do you of know? Of course I did. Bob Odenkirk, I went to college with him. Yeah. No. No, no, no. Did you? I didn't. Cap- Capcom breeders, they breed golden retrievers down down in your area. <laughs> you know I, them by any chance? No, I don't. That's They're phenomenal. You got, I'm, I'm not that's into uh, dog breeding. I'm sorry. Yeah. What's the name that's of that company? That's not one of my, uh, one of my things. Cam- yeah. Camcons. I think it's Camcons Golden Retriever. Breeding. Oh my yeah. lord! That's where I got my. Power. Are you in the market? Uh, yeah, I would like to pick another one up, Bob. Can you or? look real quick? What's uh, when's the next letter? <laughs> <laughs> we're, dude, we're wheeling and well, dealing here, Bob. You know they. I, I'm looking on the side here, and it says that Henrietta just got knocked up by Freddie, oh. and she's expecting pups any day now. All so right. we're all, all right. good. Yeah, then a couple that they're, they're, they're yeah. pure. They're purebred. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. I'll well, put them in the mail to you. You'll be you'll be getting them here shortly. Did you study uh, radio broadcasting at? Uh... I did not actually. Okay. I I have a degree in cinema. Believe it or not. Oh, well, I believe it. You're very theatrical. Yeah, you are. You are. <laughs> you're that's like why we're hiring you to design the, the Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> you're doing great. Keep it up. I did work at the college radio station down there, WIDB, which I think is is gone now, which is really really sad, but. Uh, Probably with good reason, but uh, yeah, I worked at the college words. radio station down there. I got a confession. I love college no because radio, you do though. this. You, why have a radio station when you can just get on the internet and do your own shit? So you okay. know, what's the point? I kind of wish we had call letters. It just sounds so cool. W- well, you could be F I D I. You call yourself Fi Die or F I D I. But right you have now. to have like go. a you have to have a jingle. So you have it's to have a just, W first. Yeah, it's W W F I D I. W-F-I-D. F-I-D-I. F-I-D-I. We are wearing women's Let's just go underwear. AM. Let's just go AM. <laughs> if we go AM, you can fucking broadcast everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. There's truckers right. just, they're like, oh, about to fall asleep. There's oh, shit. At the Fiddly Dickens show shows on. <laughs> you don't know when it's coming And then on. there they go into the geyser. <laughs> right, the geyser. right the geyser. The goddamn thing explodes again. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Fiddly Dickens. Did, did any of you guys go to college down in Carbondale? It was a big thing for a while. Everybody in Chicago seemed to come down to Carbondale to basically get drunk. No. That was the big thing. No. no? We're scattered about. Where'd you go to school? What? DeVry? How many DeVry? <laughs> no DeVry. Phoenix. Phoenix? Yeah. Oh, okay, University of Phoenix. Yeah. That's a good one. Big yeah. online guy. <laughs> White, yeah. Whitewater just, in Wisconsin. Just buy your degree. Why yeah. learn? Just yeah. pay him, you know, money and you'll be good. Yeah. They string you along at the University of Phoenix. I'm sorry, but yeah. Are you a Ball State? You're ball give me another one. Give me another one. I'm a Ball Stater. In ball Indiana. State. Yeah, oh, Muncie, well, man. David Letterman's alma mater, exactly. your Ball State. Yeah. yeah. Did you get the Did you get the uh, C uh, student uh, uh, thing that David Letterman used to give out the, yep. the scholarship to C students? Yep. The the one. Oh, that's that's something to do. Yeah. It's a scholarship that he hands out every year. The student that yeah. can get the lowest grade point average without getting kicked out of school. Really? What is the lowest? What is that? D's? Oh gosh, gosh I low C, I it's guess. Right? Well, you got to get a C to pass your right. yeah, major, exactly. so I'm guessing it's a C. Yeah. So D isn't passing anymore. No, <laughs> D is for dummy. When did this no, change? D, is not, D has never been passing. Are you that, sure? Yeah. Well, well there, there's a that's your, actually a tricky question. Your mother question, lied to you. Yes, you, you could, never passed. She said I was always <laughs> passing. Yeah. You could get a couple D's and a couple C's, and you're still in. But then if 
If you back it, it up the next average. semester, so I've got to have D's, average. you're out. All right, so a D plus yeah. and a D minus mix throughout. Scout is not going to. That's not going to work for one average. semester. Yeah. No, but, but just you, like all D pluses. But you have to get oh, a C in your major. Though. But I you have to get a C in your major. Oh, you're out. Oh, I got to get a C in the major. I, tell, I used to play in a band yeah. at Ball State, and we always played that fraternity that David Letterman was a part of, and they were a little cocky about it. It's like, okay, yeah. It's I'm sure they he were. He was here yeah. 30 years yeah. ago. Yeah. And we yeah. still Settled down. Those yeah. right. When's the last time yeah. you've seen and him? He's got the guy's picture and to be everywhere. honest, he yeah. didn't really do anything there. No. He didn't do a thing there. Yeah. No. Uh, that bugged me. I don't understand that. Like, I'll let a, a picture go uh, if you're going into a restaurant. They're with, you know, it's an old picture, right. and they're with the, the cook. That I'm fine with. But if it's doing it like that. Yeah. And he hasn't been back. Yeah. I don't think they were he has. Very, they were very arrogant. Really? They were, they were the most arrogant fraternity. Did you give him a oh. shitty set? No. Oh, no, I, I always give it my own. Yeah, you got to. You're 100%. I got to give it my own. Because you never know. Word of mouth gets around. Right. That's true. You don't want to be known. You don't want, you don't want getting back to Letterman. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they are talking to him. You're right. You, you don't can't know. take that chance. <laughs> Top ten. I'm sure, you would have been interested in the uh, band from the fraternity. Yeah. Uh, oh, good stuff. Uh, his his drummer was like, "Why don't you have those guys on?" Yeah. Yeah. I tell you, he, he kind of sounds like he's from Philly a little bit. Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed St. Louis. Oh, I sound like I'm from Philly, really? Just a Seriously? smidge. Just a smidge. Sound, you sound like I don't Ohio. Think so. You're like an Ohio guy. No. Wow. Yeah, Midwest through and through. Yeah. 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 Maybe maybe a little attitude sometimes. And some Puerto around. Rican. I hear some Puerto Rican. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. As well. Do you, ever, right. do you ever make it over to East St. Louis over there? I hear it's a, it's a little sketchy. Oh, yeah. There. I'm everywhere. Yeah. I'm here, there, everywhere. Yeah. People are, are afraid to go places, but I've been, heck, I'll go into North St. Louis. So, whatever you want to do. So where's the best view of the arch? Is it from Illinois or uh, from Missouri? The best view of the arch? Yeah. Um, if you want to actually look at the arch itself, it's from Illinois. Yeah. But if if you want to go up in the arch, obviously you have to go to Missouri. Like Niagara so. Falls in Canada. You got to see them from Canada. Why didn't Illinois yeah. on the other side just build a big Ferris wheel that was almost the same size <laughs> as right. the? In, so then inside. they could really they, see it. Yeah. Like, ha ah, ah. ha. Yeah. No one knows this, but they have a giant fountain in Illinois that goes as high as the arch. Really? You're but but it doesn't. They don't here, turn Bob. it on all the time because the guy who who built it was kind of cheap. He's like, I can't run this all the time, yeah. so it's only going to be on at certain times. Or it's like a day. private guy in his backyard. No, well, it's 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 some rich guy left it to the uh, to the area. I don't know oh. the county or whatever. Oh. And they can't. But pay it, for it doesn't turn on all that's the time. It only turns on at certain there. times. Yeah. But that's like, listen, how long do you have to really run it for? You run it during the summer, like the Buckingham uh, Fountain, right? Yeah. And big whoop de doo. I mean, it shoots it up, up in the air is almost as tall as the arch. It's like you know, How hundreds tall is the of arch? feet. It's pretty fucking tall. It's I probably three hundred feet. I mean, not to. I think I know why. Why is why? It's an air compressor. You gotta let the air compressor yeah. recharge. Are you thinking? Uh, you're thinking <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> No, I'm serious. That's how I. That's what they do. Yeah. yeah. Do you do you think? But, this, absolutely, I think that's right, what it is. All right. I mean, there's only so much air in that, that air compressor. True. So how long is this one shot? Know, they got it from Home Depot, and they couldn't, yeah. you know. They, they spent the whole month it, compressing the, that the, shit. The funny yeah. thing is, is it's called the big wad. But anyway, uh, oh. so you blow your wad. Yeah, you could you could have laughed at that. That I was liked funny. It, it was yeah. good. Yeah. yeah, that's Bob. Yeah. Listen, we don't you could, give, you had we to we don't give out about any laughs. I mean, here, if you Bob. were doing this for thirty years, you know, yeah. it's it's hard yeah. to impress yeah. us. Yeah, yeah. You, we, listen, <laughs> we've seen it all, Bob. <laughs> yeah. All right, and heard it all honestly. So that that that's not the first fucking. St. Louis Arch uh, uh, joke that we've heard. Well, if there's well, any... it was about the fountain. Yeah, about so, the fountain. Yeah, I meant, yeah, the fountain. Yeah. If there's anything... You didn't even know about the fountain until yeah, I told you two seconds true. ago. That's you know crazy. what? But that, listen, a professional acts like they don't know. <laughs> so that you can tell us. Let the guest tell us. It's your <laughs> the me The guest casa, needs to be smarter casa. than us. You've got to make, even if the guest isn't, Bob, <laughs> you've got to make them look like they're smarter than you. First rule. A fucking radio, Bob. Well, I will tell you that you're doing a stellar job, my friend. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, if there's one thing we know about St. Louis residents, we can't keep them up late. That's true. No, we, we can't. So why I, don't we get Bob a little bit more, more than a minute? Say as much as you'd like, Bob. Tell us where we find you. And, oh, you're uh, cutting me off already? Fuck oh, yeah, dude. So Have you ever seen the Apollo where the, the guy comes out with the crane and he's like, <laughs> the little clown is dancing with the hook? That's what the fuck's happening yeah, here, Bob. I have. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I see. I see. I, I throw out a good joke that you don't like, and now I'm getting pulled. Yeah, I got you. Like, I got we you. don't have patience for this shit. I got you. you. I showed you up too much. You don't come at all. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck am I going to face my kids now, Bob? With that bullshit. 
<laughs> yeah, you're going. I can't. No one can listen to this now. I got. It's I got ruined. One yeah. Well, maybe next you week. You know, I was yeah. doing good. <laughs> uh, good stuff. So, so what was the question? I've already forgot what the hell you said. Well, take as much time as you'd like to tell us okay. all Let about where about we this. find you, and you, you know, we didn't really describe the show. Go ahead. Yeah, just a little bit about you: age, the, sex, location, the stage we got is location. Yours. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I um, Height, I found weight. these Hawaiian underwear that are really soft, and um, <laughs> I think they're called Aloha Mama or something yeah, like that, yeah. and. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, I basically walk around with the erection all day because of these things. <laughs> That's the problem. It's, not, it's tough. That's it's tough problem. at work. I got to get some duct tape. They don't put that in the reviews. And <laughs> they don't. Chronic but they might now. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Yep. We're opening new doors. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm looking. I looked it up, and, and I don't even know what the, the fountain was called. But it's called the Gateway Geyser. And unfortunately, if you go look at, at Gateway Geyser uh, search, their logo looks like a pair of balls with a dong shooting its load. I wow. swear to God. <laughs> Bob, listen, you don't have to redeem yourself. You, 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 no, you I mean, you can the look ball for with the fountain. <laughs> you guys and now you're to, trying to you go back Google to it and, and, and uh, you know, <laughs> get one. Listen, you were great. You were great. We're, you, you were a D plus tonight. Honestly, yeah, I'm, giving out, I'm giving out grades here, Pat. Yeah, actually, with Don, that's Thank actually you. pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that's high on my ranking yeah. system. You're passing. D plus. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Well, actually, that full that goes into my joke because the uh, uh, Malcolm W. Martin Memorial Park with the Gateway Geyser is a D plus as well. So, oh, um, nice. where can people find me? I, they can find me uh, at staticradio.com at Static Radio on all the socials and. If you come listen to the show, we tell funny stories about things that happen, like going to Yellowstone and, uh, and uh, you know, the weird stuff that happens in and around the Yellowstone Park, like things exploding or people driving into geysers. Or I was in uh, California recently, and, uh, and the guy juggled, like, intermission at a stoplight. So, you know, the world is that's an amazing awesome. place. Yeah, that's talent. Yeah. That's, so that's in the Olympic talented, ceremony yeah. opening, by the oh, way. Man. Might be an event. <laughs> that could, that could be part. The, we'd have the, the shopping carts with New people event. juggling. Hold on a second. And, that, is, uh, should, yeah. that should be fucking Nick just said something perfect. We've been trying to figure out what would be something that we... Sorry, Bob, you're going to have to bear with us here, and then we'll, we'll put you to bed. But uh, well, yeah, I, gotta, I'm I know, I know, late. I know. Just hang, hang in there with us. So <laughs> it's all, we, we it's were, getting close to 10. We were trying to figure out an event. That should be added mm-hmm. to the Olympics. And Nick just had a great one juggling. Shuffleboard. Juggling I always while think driving shuffleboard. in LA traffic. Juggling while driving. Well, I don't know. Just juggling in general. I think jugg- you keep getting thrown balls, right? And how many you go. Really keep. <laughs> and yet, and until you, like, you I juggle. I love it. that. Fuck yeah, juggling. I would, I would actually tailgate for that. I'm just imagining, you know how the announcers are always, like, quiet in the background, giving you all the stats? Yes. I would love to see an announcing of, be, the, of the juggler. You'd have to be quiet, though, because you don't want to <laughs> fucking throw off the juggler. This is Bob Lament. His last record was 20 balls. That's right, yeah. He likes no, to no, no, juggle no, 20 no, balls. It's got to be loud. Yeah, he's got to be loud. Jugglers, no, jugglers, no, jugglers, no, no, jugglers, no, no, jugglers, no, 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 They got elephants and shit walking no, around. No, the commentators have to be quiet because they're you're focused. right. It's got to be loud. They're fucking juggling. This shit's got to be pumping. He's 100% right. Plus, the homeless will fall asleep. You're right. We got to get this thing pumped up a little bit. This is like snowboarding and Answers. Yeah, we get fucking amped up. Yeah, okay. Good right. job. God, right. he just took 36 <laughs> balls. <laughs> <laughs> Crowd's oh going nuts, right? <laughs> flaming right. arrows shooting all Fuck over the yeah, place. I like, yeah, yeah flaming let's arrows. Let's wake him up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, let's right. fucking get it going. This also be the opening ceremony, too. Yes, oh, yes. See, this is why we're spitballing. Spitballing, because some things you got to take out. You can't have yeah. everything in there. But no, or can you? Or can yeah. you? That's what we try. True. Well, Bob, listen, thanks, dude. Seriously, it's been absolutely a lot of fun. Uh, you, honestly, has probably been, I don't know, our fifth best guest in 30 years. So that's <laughs> well, good. thank you. I appreciate that's it. That's really good. That's top really five good. in 30 you're top years. Five. Yeah. Well, I'm not even yeah. on the podium with the top three. I'm on the, the yeah. sideline yeah. watching yeah. all the so best people. The top five. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're... You're you're not even bronze. You're not in gold. You're not silver. You're not bronze. You're yeah, like yeah. Uh, paper mache. You're over there in paper mache. No, you're the cap guy. 
Cap guy. He's the cap, cap guy. guy. The cap guy. guy. <laughs> yeah, Bob yeah. Cap guy. You know, look, going back to the Olympics probably again. more to the point. What do yeah. you say? True. Say your buddy's in one of the events, right? And he takes fourth. Oh, he, what do you say afterwards? He, he comes home and you're like, hey, let's go out for a beer. What do you say to that guy? Do yeah. better next time. Yeah, yeah dude, like, what the lose? fuck? Yeah, what were you, you doing? Fourth. fourth. At least get a fucking bronze medal. Yeah. Come home with not a certain, yeah. he probably, what is it, a pin? Do you get a pin for fourth? What do you get? I don't think you get a damn a, a, a ribbon? Do you get a ribbon? <laughs> You get no. to keep that cardboard bed, I think, yeah. is what you get. And they fold yeah. it up, put it in your luggage, and bring it home. Yeah. Nice. And you're home. Huh? Fuck. Yeah. yeah. I don't think yeah. they're friends anymore, right? No. It's, it's like, yeah. yeah. You tell them you're watching the Golden Girls. Don't have time for a beer. You're yeah. absolutely right. Who is this new number? Wait, yeah. if, he, if, the, if he comes knocking, yeah. you turn off all the lights yeah. in the house. I, my guess is most of those people in Olympics don't have any friends. And so they don't have to worry about it because, you know, because they're so, <laughs> con, you know, focused on this whatever event that they're doing, you know. Uh, in a career that you doesn't know, nose, make money, no yeah. picking or whatever it is, <laughs> Olympic nose picking. So it's so funny. And they, it, it, because you're 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 right. You gymnast. Where do gymnasts go? Professional gymnast. What do you do? Uh, they what do you do? Pretty much Circus going to Soleil. pornography afterwards. Is it porn? Oh, you're saying what as a career? <laughs> yeah. What do you do after? Because yeah. you're not making money. Is they, it? They they become coaches. Other things. Yeah, what about, the fuck yeah. wants to what do about that? What about equestrian rider? Where do they go? Oh, you got they, a gold medal. You know where the fuck they go? They go work at they, the stables. Yeah, no, they go to uh, they go to the fucking jockeys. They go to the the preakness. <laughs> oh, they go to the races. Yeah, they yeah, they do. They're, 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 just, they're just doing the they're just doing the estuarian <laughs> shit. No, it's uh, 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 they, um, no, no. Uh, equestrian, yeah. 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 estuary, yeah. like a little river. Yeah, a little river. They're just doing a little river shit. They they only do the equestrian. For the Olympics, then they go right back to fucking All right, back. I got a question for you guys, as long as we have Olympic theme. What event is the worst to win a gold medal in and then you can't find a job afterwards? Like, what do you think would be the worst job? Worst, worst like most that's an them. actual event? I don't even... Like, the discus... Yeah, that's a good discus. <laughs> you, what are you going to do with a discus? You know what you're going to do with the discus? You're wrong, Bob, because you're going to go out and you're going to play fucking frisbee golf and you're going to get on the circuit... So and yeah, you're and you're going to overthrow win. it every time because you're used to hoofing around like this heavy yeah. thing. You're going to just wing it. They yeah. call you hole in one like, Bob because you're just fucking throwing them. They'll be them like, uh, Bob, yeah, you, the disc you can't be on the Frisbee <laughs> golf team anymore because you keep overthrowing the hole, for Christ's sake. Can you, yeah. like, temper it a little bit, yeah. you know? You're like, I'm used to this 10-pound thing, and now I got this two-ounce thing. What am I supposed to do? Triple jumping. Who does that shit? <laughs> triple jump. <laughs> you could triple jump all over the goddamn place. <laughs> like, I wouldn't even... You could even... triple jump today and not skin <laughs> your knee. I, I actually did triple jump. <laughs> yeah, you might... You might... I think the, the, the triple won, jumps... Uh, I the people the triple jump today. To I didn't tell you guys that part. <laughs> uh. Triple jump. All right, Bob. We're going to let you. No more Olympic questions. I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys okay? Are you all right? Yeah. Gonna yeah. Okay? yeah. Gonna be all right. Thank we'll you for joining us for the Olympic edition of yeah. Fiddly Dicking. Yep. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. You guys, uh, this has been hilarious. You're welcome and, uh, back anytime. And all, uh, and all more power to you and uh, and to all the folks in Naperville. I, I apologize uh, for, you know, humans in your midst. And by the way, Bob, you're welcome. <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> so nice. All right, bud. Have a good one. Thanks, yeah, Bob. Good talking to you, man. You too. Take care. Bob was good. Yeah. Bob Great was voice. Bob. Great That's voice. what I'm saying. You never know, guys, what you're going to get. There's yeah. going to be, there may be three in a row or four in a row. Great fucking guess. He was good. And then we may go two or three stinkers. <laughs> That's just what's going to happen. You roll the dice. Yeah. We roll the dice. Another great one, and I think oh, dice rolling for the Olympics. Oh, is that what you? Is that where you're going? Sh shaking, no, but I shaking like bones this. in the corner. <laughs> that be, you're fucking really playing good. on the corner. Homeless <laughs> people I around you. Something you're throwing That'd be a fantastic <laughs> sport. <laughs> Fuck yeah, it would. You can do it anywhere random. too. You can do it at the pool. Yeah. In the corner. Oh, no. You can do it at the alley. It's, it's going to be alley. like where's Waldo? You're doing it all the different events. You're like there, just playing in the background. Wait, you at the pool, like throwing it into the pool? No, no. And the, the, the guy gets it. Oh. The cap the cap guy's guy's going in. It. He's like, ah, oh, shit. He takes his sweatshirt off and he jumps <laughs> every in. Every throw, he puts his shirt back on and he goes back underneath every time. Uh, I bet he comes back ripped for the next Olympics. All right, yeah, guys. I think you should. Well, that's, uh, that was a great Thanks show. Thanks for listening. And listen, why don't you guys email us sometime? Yeah, or text. Fiddly talk at gmail.com. And I believe it's uh, 331... This is going to be interesting. Actually, uh, I think I can find it real quick. 331. 308. 
3080054. Text us. Text us. We want to hear from you. 331 331- 3080054. We may even read your shit on air. We may. I don't know if we're going to. If it sucks, we we will. Okay. <laughs> it's good. We're not going to. It'll be better than our stuff. All right. Good night. Good night.